okay let's go to gns3.com and you could see a free download here so just click it and you select the windows to download and you have various options like mac and linux as well so once you click download it will save a copy here in your downloads let's go back and for optimal performance you have to use uh, gns3 vm so you can download that as well so once you download that uh, it will come to your uh, download files as a arc here and uh, it's important to use vmware workstation as well so let's start the gns3 So it's connecting to 127.0.0.1 which is my uh, local server and you can see uh, the green indication for the local server which is my desktop. And here I already uh, imported the GNS3 VM or IOU and you can do the same as well. So. Uh, in earlier version of GNS3, uh, the uh, server won't automatically start, but in 2.1.16, this has been fixed as a bug re uh, bug fix. And uh, see, uh, the GNS3 VM is starting. Let's name uh, the project as test2. go back to the GNS3 VM so the GNS3 VM is starting on its own once you open the GNS3 application which is not the usual way in the previous versions so GNS3 VM is started I'm just waiting for it to turn green Okay, it's green now. I'm giving okay. So, how to uh, do the GNS3 VM setup? So, help. Go to help and click setup wizard and give run modern iOS. Ne click next. Next connection to local server successful. Next. Next. Here, if the GNS3 VM already installed, it will list here, or else you can hit refresh. If nothing list here, then you don't have a VM, and you don't have the GNS3 VM uh, called in that VM. So add an iOS router. Run, select run the iOS on the GNS3 VM. existing image I am selecting I am naming it as C7200 test 2 let the remaining be as it is and you can select uh, two more slots to configure and work it can be anything next ideal PC uh, you can do ideal PC finder it will take some seconds uh, I already uh, copied the ideal PC name uh, to my notepad and I'm just pasting it there so this is the template and just give ok so the appliance is installed successfully now you just have to drag and drop and uh, let's track one router okay it's a scan and 
Okay, you can rename the router as anything. I'm just doing test two, and it's in red. So let's play the project. Okay, turn green. Let's put this router. 192.168.81.129 and the port is 5000 select terminal open hit enter 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 it's taking some time okay so we were able to log in to the router let's close this and let's see okay I'm going to show you how to open the previous uh, projects saved here either you can click open project or you can select from the previous list here just hit new to so in 2.1.16 as you can see we are not facing any issues uh, importing the old project as you can see once I hit the play button everything turns green let's try to tell that into the device <coughs> let's see if the host name shows as Jenny friends enter as long as you get the uh, uh, privilege mode okay it shows Jenny okay let's exit and if you still face a uh, re um, enabling the server uh, gns3 vm or local server you can go to windows program files and gns3 and start the gns3 server application manually if it is not automatically started while you open the gns3 application and if you have issues uh, turning the GNS3 VM into green I mean if you are having issues logging into the local server or the GNS3 VM then you can actually go to Windows users and uh, you can delete that GNS3 com file completely and you can reinstall from the downloads that will actually fix the issue okay thanks for watching and please subscribe if you like thank you